Hello everyone, hello grade 4. Our lesson today is dividing whole number by another number. We will study first dividing by one digit number. Let's revise some points first. Dividing by one digit number. We studied before 28 divided by 4 equals 7. 28 divided by 4, what does that mean? It means what number times 4 equals 28. This number is 7. But we have three words here. 28 is called what? 4 is called what? And 7 is called what? Yes, 28 is a dividend. 4 is called what? Is a divisor. And 7 is a quotient. What is the relation between the three words? Dividend, divisor and quotient. We started before that 7 or we can deduce that 7 times 4 equals 28. Now we can deduce the relation now that dividend the greatest one equals quotient times divisor. But if we have 30 divided by 4 equals what? Ask yourself what number times 4 equals 30? There is no number times 4 equals 30, but there is a number times 4 will give you a number close to be 30. This number is 7. 7 times 4 equals 28 plus 2 equals 30. 2 is called what guys? 2 is called the reminder. So 30 now is a dividend and 4 is a divisor 7 is called what the quotient 2 is called what don't forget it's reminder now what is the relation between the four numbers now we studied that 4 or 7 times 4 plus 2 equals what guys equals 30 now we can deduce that the dividend equals quotient times divisor plus reminder don't forget the dividend the greatest one equals the quotient times divisor plus reminder now let's revise multiplication table we studied before 24 divided by 4 equals what ask yourself what number times 4 equals 24 yes this number is 6 70 divided by 7 equals what what number times 7 equals 70 yes this number is 10 32 divided by 4, what number times 4 equals 32? This number is 8. 18 divided by 2 equals what? Yes, by the same way, 9. 16 divided by 8 equals 2. It's very important to, to revise multiplication table. 12 divided by 4, multiplying by 4, yes, 3 times 4 equals 12. So the number here is 3. 25 divided by 5, it's very easy, equals 5, because 5 times 5 equals 25. 63 divided by 9, yes, can you remember? It's 7. 56 divided by 8 equals 7. 90 divided by 9 equals what, guys? Equals 10. 10 times 9 equals 90. 30 divided by 6 equals 5, and 27 divided by 9 equals 3. 42 divided by 6 equals 7. We studied before that 7 times 6 equals 42. 40 divided by 8 equals what? Yes, equals 5. We have 5 times 8 equals 40. And we studied before that 10 times 4 equals 40 also. 45 divided by 9 equals what, guys? Equals 5, multiplying by 5. 60 divided by 10 equals 6. 72 divided by 9, it's very important. We studied that 8 times 9 equals 72. So 72 divided by 8 equals 9. 12 divided by 3, yes. What number times 3 equals 12? This number is what, guys? Yes, 4. So we have here 4 groups of 3. 40 divided by 4 equals 10. 36 divided by 4 equals what, guys? 9. And we studied before that 6 times 6 equals 36. Now we have two equal products. 4 times 9 equals 6 times 6 equals 36. 50 divided by 5 equals 10. It's easy. Next, 15 divided by 3 equals 5. 70 divided by 7 equals 10. 81 divided by 9, we studied before that 9 times 9 equals 81, so 81 divided by 9 equals 9. 24 divided by 8 equals 3. 42 divided by 7 equals 6. 30 divided by 2, yes, equals 15, we studied before, it's easy. 
50 divided by 10 equals 5. Let's divide now by one digit number, 468 divided by 2. Pay attention, we will divide digit by digit from the left. We will say 4 divided by 2, don't say 8 divided by 2. So we will say 4 divided by 2 and write the quotient above 4. Don't forget, 4 divided by 2 equals what guys? What number times 2 will give you a number close to before? This number is 2. We write 2, then we can multiply. 2 by 2 equals 4. We write 4 under 4. Now, write a line and subtract. 4 minus 4, it will be 0. Bring down what, guys? What is the second step? Bring down 6 and repeat again. Then, we can divide. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 3 times 2 equals 6. Write a line and subtract. We will get here 0. What is the second step? Yes, bring down 8. Now, ask yourself. 8 divided by 2 equals what, guys? Yes, equals 4. We can multiply. 4 times 2 equals 8. Write a line and subtract. It will be 0. So, the quotient is what, guys? 234. It's very easy. Next, he asked it here. 4816 divided by 4. Start with the left. 4 divided by 4 equals what, guys? 1. We write 1 above 4. Then we can multiply. 1 times 4 equals 4. Write a line and subtract. 4 minus 4, it will be 0. Repeat again. Bring down what, guys? Yes, the next digit is 8. 8 divided by 4. What number times 4 will give you a number? Equals 8. This number is exactly 2. 2 times 4 equals what, guys? 8. Now, write a line and subtract. It will be 0. Bring down what? Pay attention. Bring down 1. 1 is called what here now? Is a dividend. 1 is less than 4. So, we write here 0 in quotient. Don't forget, when we bring down a number, and this number is less than the divisor. So, we write 0 in quotient. Don't forget, bring... What is the second step? Bring down the next number, which is 6. Now, 16 divided by 4, yes, it's easy, equals 4. 4 times 4 equals 16, write a line and subtract, it's 0. Now, the quotient is what, guys? 1,204. Next, we have here 324 divided by 2. Start with the left. 3 divided by 2, yes, what number times 2 will give you 3? No number times 2 will give me 3. No, ask yourself now. What number times 2 will give you a number close to be 3, not 3, not equal 3. So this number is what? Yes, 1. 1 times 2 equals 2, and the reminder will be 1. We can now multiply 1 times 2 equals 2. Write a line and subtract. It will be 1. 1 is called what, guys? Is the reminder. Bring down the next digit, which is 2. We will get here 12. 12 divided by 2 equals what? Yes, equals 6. 6 times 2 equals 12. Write 12. Write a line and subtract. It will be 0. Bring down the last digit is what, guys? 4. Ask yourself now. 4 divided by 2 equals? Yes, 2. Now we multiply. 2 times 2 equals 4. Write a line and subtract. We will get 0. So the quotient here is 162. We can deduce now the steps of division or division in steps. The first step is divide, followed by multiply, followed by guys subtract, followed by bring down the next digit and repeat the steps again. Note, we can divide here directly. For example, pay attention to this example. Divide. 72 divided by 2. How can we divide without long division? By the same way, we will start from the left. 7 divided by 2 equals what, guys? Yes, what number times 2 will give you a number close to be 7, not 7. This number is 3 because 3 times 2 equals 6. So, write here 3 and the reminder will be 1. We will here imagine that we want 1 here, write 1 beside 2. It will be here, guys, what? 12. Now, ask yourself, 12 divided by 2 equals what, guys? Equals 6. Now, dividing by one digit number with remainder. For example, he said divide. 422,144 divided by 3. Start with the left. 4 divided by 3 equals 1. 
Now we can multiply 1 times 3 equals 3. Write a line and subtract. Now 4 minus 3, it will be 1. It's the remainder. Bring down the next digit, which is 2. Ask yourself, 12 divided by 3 equals what, guys? Yes, what number times 3 will give you 12? Yes, this number is 4. We can multiply now. 4 times 3 equals 12. We can write a line and subtract. It will be 0. Bring down the next digit. The next digit here is what, guys? Is 2. Now, 2 divided by 3 doesn't work. Why? Because 2 is less than 3. Automatically, we write 0 in quotient. Bring down the next digit, which is 1. It will be 21 divided by 3 equals what, guys? Yes, it equals 7. Now, we will multiply 7 by 3 equals 21. Write a line and subtract. It will be 0. Bring down the next, which is 4. Yes, 4 divided by 3 equals 1. 1 times 3 equals 3. Write a line and subtract. The remainder will be 1. And bring down the last digit, which is 4. 14 divided by 3, guys, equals what? Equals 4. Because 4 times 3 equals 12. Yes, 12 is the closest number to 14. If you take 5, 5 times 3, it will be 15 is greater than 14. So we will write, we'll choose a number times 3 will give you a number close to be 14. This number is 4. 4 times 3 equals 14. Yes, or 4 times 3 equals 12. Write 12. Write a line and subtract. It will be 2. So the remainder here is 2. Now, the quotient is 140,714 with the remainder 2. Next example, 6,784 divided by guys 5. Digit by digit from the left, 6 divided by 5 equals 1. 1 times 5 equals 5. It's easy. Write a line, subtract, it will be 1. Bring down 7. 17 divided by 5 equals what guys? Equals 3. 3 times 5 equals 15. Write a line and subtract. It will be 2. With a reminder, it will be 2. Bring down what? Yes, bring down 8. 28 divided by 5 equals what, guys? Equals 5. 5 times 5 equals 28. Write a line and subtract. The remainder will be 3. Bring down the last digit, which is 4. Ask yourself, 34 divided by 5. What number times 5 will give a number close to be 34? This number is 6. Why? 6 times 5 equals what, guys? Equals 30. Now, subtract. It will be here 4. Pay attention, guys. It's very important to know that the remainder here is 4. The dividend here is 5. So the remainder must be, guys, must be less than the divisor. Here, the reminder is 2. The divisor here is 3. The reminder, don't forget, the reminder is less than the divisor. The reminder is less than the divisor. Thank you for watching. See you soon, guys.